Hi guys, welcome to CM Lunch Break. So happy you're here again. My name is Hannah and I help with the Rockin' Kids. And I'm Shauna and I help out in Warriors. And I'm Miss Marin and I also help out in the Rockin' Kids. So today we are learning about hope. So I want you guys to all think for a second, think of something that you are hoping for, something that you've wished for. It can be a really big dream, something that is a long time in the future or something that could happen today. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to think in your head and even maybe write it down, something that you're wishing for. So once you guys have had it in your head and maybe written down, I want you guys to keep it in your head because we're gonna come back to that. So do you guys know the movie and the story Finding Nemo? <gasps> I know that one, do you know that one? Well, that is one of my favorite stories because uh, Nemo, he gets lost from his dad, but in the end, he finds his dad, but even better, they join Dory and they make Dory a part of their family too. One of my favorite movies is Avengers Endgame, and what's so cool about that movie is that everything is against the Avengers, and there seems like there's absolutely no chance of beating Thanos. It's like 1 in 14 million or something crazy like that, but they make that chance, and they are victorious against Thanos in the end. So about these two stories, the thing I love is that they both end really well. They both have happy endings, even though during this story, things might have been really hard. Like for Nemo, he didn't know where his dad was, and that could have been really scary, and he probably felt really lonely. So sometimes we feel really scared and really lonely for so many different reasons, but what something we can remember is God is in charge of writing our story, so we can trust and hope that God is going to give us a happy ending, just like these two stories. Mm -hmm. And today we are talking about how God writes our stories and how we can hope in God. So listen up, guys. Put your listening ears on. This is what God says. Put your hope in me because I love you always. Hope, my kind of hope, is very different from any other kind. It is more than a wish or a dream. It is expecting me to keep my promises because you know that I will. One of my greatest promises is to keep you, give you a happy ending to your story. Yes, your story, because your life is a story. Put your hope in me by trusting me as your savior and following me. I promise that your adventure will end with a happily ever after in heaven with me. I died on the cross so that you can have a forever like this. No matter how tough this day may be, you can always have hope because in me, your story has an amazing ending and knowing that will brighten even your darkest day. So the first Bible verse is Psalm 33, 20 through 22. This Bible verse says, So our hope is in the Lord. He is our help, our shield to protect us. We rejoice in him. We trust in his holy name. Lord, show your love to us as we put our hope in you. Our second verse of hope and encouragement is in Titus 1-2. That faith and that knowledge come from our hope for life forever. God promised that life to us before time even began. And God does not lie. Mm -hmm. So do you guys remember those wishes that you wrote down or you were thinking of in your head when we first started this video? Yeah. Well, take them out and we're going to share them with our friends and our family around us. And just note how we can trust God with these big dreams and wishes that we have in our heart because he has much better things in store for us. Mm -hmm. Did you guys share your wishes? That's awesome. Thanks for sharing lunch with us and sharing your wishes with your family. We hope to see you again very, very soon. But before we say goodbye, we just wanted to pray for you guys. So go ahead and close your eyes, bow your heads, and join us in this prayer. Lord Jesus, I just thank you so much that you give hope immeasurable, God, that your hope really never runs out and that we can count on you. Even when everything seems against us, God, we can still hope in you and the story that you have planned for us. 
Thank you that you are the author of our story and that our stories will always have a happy ending because of you. We love you, Jesus, and we just thank you that you are with us in these times. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. Bye, See guys. you guys on Wednesday.